Shalom Aleichem, Na'alei viewers. Today's shir is dedicated Lili Nishmas Rochel Leia Basub Chaim Tzvi. Continuing the Gemara Brachis, the Daf Yud Beis Amid Aleph, the two dots in the middle of the Amud. The Gemara begins, we learned in the Mishnah back on Daf Yud Aleph Amid Aleph, that in Birchus Kriyishma there are two brachas. There's the longer bracha and there's a shorter bracha. Malkaim Sha'amru Laharich Aina Rishoy Lakatzer. A situation where one is required to recite the long bracha. The Mishnah states one is not permitted to shorten the bracha. Lakatzer, if one is obligated to recite a short bracha, Aina Rishoy Laharich, one is not allowed to elongate and lengthen the bracha. Lachtoim, Eina Rishoy Shaloi Lachsoim. If one has to conclude the bracha with the words, Baruch Ata Hashem, then one is not permitted to drop that conclusion. Shaloi Lachtoim, where there's no conclusion of Baruch Ata Hashem in the chasima, in the conclusion of the bracha, Eina Rishoy Lachtoim, one is not allowed to insert it. Says the Gemara on Daf Yud Beis Mid Aleph, the two dots in the middle of the Yomud, says the Gemara, Pshita Heicha de Nokat Kosa de Cham Rabbi Yodei. The Gemara says this halacha is clear that in a situation where an individual is holding in his hand a cup of wine, which the appropriate bracha is, Bayre Priyagafen. And he made a mistake and he thought that he's holding in his hand a cup of beer. And therefore, in light of that mistake in terms of identifying what's in his hand, he's thinking that he has to make a bracha on a cup of beer. And he begins to recite the bracha with the mindset with Kavana, that he plans to say the bracha for beer, Shahako Mia Bidvaro, Visiyain Bidhamra, and then he realized his mistake, and he concludes with the correct bracha, Bore Priyagafen, for the wine that in fact is in his hand, Yatza, says the Gemara, that's clear to us, that in that case he fulfills his obligation, and he's permitted to draw ahead and drink the wine. Because he, in fact, said the correct bracha. And even though, initially, when he started the bracha, he had in mind the wrong bracha, he had in mind the bracha for a cup of beer, he had in mind to recite shahako, says the Gemara, he's still yotze, why? Di'inami imoma shahako near bidvaro yotza. For even if he had continued with his mistaken mindset and expressed the incorrect bracha, in this situation, and recited the shahako instead of making the hagofen on the wine that's actually in his hand, had he gone ahead with his mistake, thinking that he's holding in his hand a cup of beer and he would make a shahako, he would be yotze on the wine through the bracha of shahako, the hotnan, because we learned in the Mishnah later, al kula mimama shahako niya bidvaro yotza. The Mishnah says later that even though the Chathila, there's a halacha that on each type of food, it has its own bracha, on a mezonos, you make a bar mina mezonos, if it's from the chameshis mina dogon, and if it grows from the ground, you make a ha-doma, and if it grows on a tree, you make a ha-eitz. But the Mishnah says, al kulo mimama shahakul niyabidvara yotza. On all foods, to the Evet, if you recite a bracha, a general bracha, shahako niyabidvara, that God created everything, you fulfill your obligation. So says the Gemara, in that situation, that's pashut. That's clear. That if a person had in mind to make a shahako, and he realized his mistake, and he made the correct bracha of hagafen, because he's holding in his hand a cup of wine, so he would be yotze, because even if we follow his initial thought, which was to make a shahako, that bracha would also cover the wine, and would allow one to drink the wine. Says the Gemara, but where do we have a question? Elohei chodinokit kosa de shikra 
asks the Gemara, what's the halach in the following case? If an individual is holding in his hand a cup of beer, and he made a mistake and he thought that in fact it was a cup of wine. So the correct bracha for what's in his hand is a shahakal. But because he's mis- made a mistake in identifying what's in his hand, so he thinks he's holding wine and he has to say hagofen on the wine. And he began to say the bracha with the mindset of saying hagofen, of saying a bari pri hagofen, visiyein b'deshichra, and then he caught himself and corrected himself and said the bracha of shahako, my, what's the halacha in that case? What's the 